Hey guys, we are doing a series on how to help your business during COVID-19, but there's an aspect of it that sometimes we forget about because we're so busy teaching people how to build their business during COVID-19, but there's this piece of it that gets people a little bit depressed there and some people very depressed they're worried they don't know how to grow their business they don't know what to do during COVID-19 they don't know what's going to happen next so people feel this sense of uncertainty so I thought it would be a good idea to talk about the ways that COVID-19 actually is a huge benefit to the entrepreneur to the person who's creative and who wants to serve in whatever capacity for the skills that they have, the things, the solutions that you have to offer, the problems that you wanna solve. I'm gonna share with you six different jobs that didn't even exist before COVID-19. And these are online jobs. And of course, with quarantine, we need to be online. We need to be interacting this way. So the first job that is now available that didn't even used to be, that was not even a thing, is a community manager. And some of, the, some of the analytical sites are saying that 92% of marketers report that social media is important to their business. And hello, you think that number hasn't gone up now? Of course it has. So social media is important to their, their business. And what a community manager does is they're in charge of starting discussions online and converting internet users into signups for a site or into giving their email figuring out the best way to make sure that we can collect emails and grow our list so that we can convert them into customers. That's a community manager. That was one that didn't even exist before. The second one is a social media manager that existed before COVID, but it has grown like crazy since COVID started. Everybody needs to take their business online and a social media manager, the job in a nutshell is they update and manage your social media channels and Right now, this is usually a mix of Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Google+, whatever, all of those. And depending on how, how big your following is or what platforms you're using, your social media manager will manage all of that. I have a social media manager. I had one before COVID, but I'll tell you what, our strategies have changed. We've tweaked some things once COVID started. We already built our business online, but guess what? One of the things I do is that I help business owners. I help entrepreneurs to grow their business. And so there are people out there who would never have heard of me before. And now we're trying to, we're actually reaching into customer segments that we hadn't been in before. And it's opening up a whole new world for us as far as possible customers. So that's huge. The third one is a content manager. This job is basically in this day and age, a business needs a solid content strategy. They've got to be able to know how to keep their content. Um, their content has to fit. Like it's got to, it, you can't be all over the place. You've, people have to know what you're about. If you're a dentist, you're not posting about decorating houses. You're posting about dentistry. It has to fit into your niche. And so your content manager is going to make sure that you have content that fits what you're trying to do. It fits your personality. It fits your, um, your culture for your business. It fits all of those things. And I hope this is helping you feel more positive about the opportunities and the possibilities during COVID-19. This could very well take a turn for us that similar to what happened during the industrial revolution things change. People moved from the farms into the cities. It created problems, but it also solved a lot of problems. And the problems that were created because of what was happening, it created opportunities for the entrepreneurs. And it actually allowed, allowed the people who have a skill or something that they want to serve the world with, it allowed them to come out with that thing and offer it as a solution. So there might be things that you've been thinking, you've been holed up inside thinking, okay, well, you know, I've got this business, but that one doesn't make sense. Maybe now it makes more sense because people are needing that. The fourth job is a virtual reality consultant. Now there are virtual assistants, there are all types of virtual jobs, but a virtual reality consultant, what their job is, it's kind of still emerging. And so there isn't, there isn't a whole lot in the way of a, like a set 
natural, like everybody says, this is exactly what it is. There's not really a career progression because it hasn't been around long enough, which is kind of good because it gives you flexibility. But working as a virtual reality consultant, you would be helping your clients plan a virtual reality project. So it might be a one-time thing, a project, or it could be you're helping plan the whole next year and the different projects, depending on your level of skill, depending on what your client needs. And the sixth one, it, oh, wait a minute. I think that was number four. Yeah, we only did number four. The next one, number five, is a data analyst. We, you've got you've to check the numbers. I'll tell you what, I got away in my business with checking, of course I checked the numbers, but I had a business partner who was in charge of checking the numbers and he did a phenomenal job. But I need to be aware of my numbers now it is way more important. I have to be way more aware of what's going on with my numbers because we're spending money on marketing. We're, we're split testing funnels where we have our lead magnets. We have to know which ones are working, which ones aren't. Sometimes we're split testing um, ad agencies uh, because we have, we're working with several partners. I've got to know what's going on in my business. And so we have somebody in our business that actually manages that and has to turn in a daily report for me so that I can look at that report and make sure I know my numbers. Otherwise, I can't, I can't make as good of decisions in my business. So that's a really powerful business opportunity. The sixth one is a user experience manager. Now that's kind of a newer one. And in that job, what happens is it, we, need to, we need to know how our people are feeling. Uh, one of the things I've done with my clients is I'll look at their emails, I'll look at the stuff that they're doing, I'll, I'll, look, I'll help them create their, their program. In fact, I have, I have a client right now where she just, I helped her create her program for songwriting. She, she writes songs and she's, she wants to teach people how to write songs and she's very good at it. So we created a program that is part of her value ladder where it's teaching people how to write music and helping them ascend up her value ladder to become regular customers for her. And she came, so I gave her assignments and within one week we had her entire program totally written out. She came back to me, we went through it. I, I said, I want you to take this off. I want you to make this change. I asked some questions because I'm not a songwriter, but I just needed to ask enough questions because guess what I'm doing? I'm trying to figure out the user experience. I'm trying to find out, okay, what is your customer going to feel? What is your client going to feel like when this happens? And are you creating the experience for them that is gonna keep them coming back? So a user experience manager is in charge of making sure what are the emotions, what are the feelings of the customer? This never used to be such a big thing. Yes, people wanted to know, but to have, now, now companies have whole departments that are all about the user experience and they have to have a manager who manages all of that. So I hope that gives you some hope. I hope it helps you realize, wow, this is a time for a huge opportunity. And what's happening is the people who are kind of, and I'm gonna call it wallowing, I'm gonna to be tough on you guys, because if you are one of those, there are people who are wallowing in this attitude that, oh no, things are hard and this is, I'm not saying it's not hard. And I'm not saying we don't need to have compassion. We need to have compassion for that. But guess what? The people who buck up and go, you know what? There are opportunities here. There are problems that need to be solved. I know how to solve these. I can, I don't care. I've talked before. I don't care if you're, the thing you're awesome at is compassion. Well, then maybe you would be awesome at having clients where you are the user experience manager. Maybe that is what you would do. There are opportunities here. And the people who jump in, find the opportunities and look at the glass half full and say, you know what? I'm going to help with this situation you are going to be, you're going to come out way farther ahead when all of this starts to smooth out and all the other people who are struggling and, and debating about it and trying to figure it out, they're going to be left behind in the dust and they're going to wonder how, how did these people know? It's like magic. It's like they, they had a second sight for what was coming. No, I'm telling you right now, this is your second sight you jump on board and start figuring out solutions and figure out what problems you're gonna solve and start offering those to people. This is a potential for huge success for you. So look at it that way and you'll start to find major, major breakthroughs in your business. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.